Grand Prix versus 5 and 0. Oh. Three years the older is Hernandez. One inch the taller, Nick Buell. The heavier by one and a half pounds is Buell. He has a massive four inch reach advantage on that right arm. All right, fighters, you received your, your directions to the dressing room earlier. I want a good, clean fight. I want you to defend yourselves at all times. I want you to obey my commands at all times. Do you have any questions from Blue? Any questions from Red? Look them up, let's get started. Look at the intensity on Nick Newell. All of his wins have come in the very first round, and while you think that having a handicap such as Nick does would be a big disadvantage, it has actually proven very advantageous in many ways. Having no left hand means that the grip strength on his right hand is exceptional, and he's adapted it to be able to lock on a choke using that awesome, fully powerful right grip that has just served him so well. Here we go in the first round. It is Newell in southpaw stance, and he comes out nicely with the right. Newell looking for a single leg here. He holds over 300 wrestling wins in high school and college. Two-time Western New England University wrestling captain and all-state wrestler for Jonathan Moore High School. Inside the guard here early on. A quick pass. He's getting the knee pushed down. He's partially in the half guard, not quite. I'm going to suck it back in the full guard. Great job taking down right away and then trying to pass. This is not... Wow, the game plan for Hernandez to be on the ground with Newell in his guard. Well, Newell did a good job of just throwing the legs by and getting a quick pass and dropping down with a big right hand. <laughs> Working away with the ground and bound here is Nick Newell. You see how he will use that left arm to his advantage here, Frank. It's really great. It's almost sometimes you think it's a disadvantage, but like you said earlier, it's not. It's an advantage. He, he doesn't have to worry about where the rest of the arm is. He, every time he drops, oh, go right to a heel. Huh? Have a look at this from Nick Newell. It is over. Good night, Irene. A standing freaking ovation. Turns right around, jumped in right to it. I mean, he fell back. It was amazing to watch him fall back into it. He sits up. You see how quickly he throws his right knee to the inside and immediately slides back and tightens off. See that, that left arm, which is supposed to be a handicap, all of a sudden becomes the ability to be able to drop on that heel and extend the foot very quickly. It locked it off. He didn't have to worry about the rest of his arm. He slides down the leg very tight, very small. That was picture perfect going right to a heel hook and no way to stop it because you only have one place to pick. You can't get to it because buried underneath your, sh your shin already. Dennis Hernandez is no slouch. And nobody thought Neil would finish him off that quickly. What great sportsmanship here. Nick Neal, a BJJ purple belt under Andrew Calandrelli, shows off his skill set. Christopher James put this one into the history books as Neal goes 6 and 0. Our referee, John Hosgood, stops his bout at 1 minute and 11 seconds of round number one for your winner by a tap out due to a submission by a heel hook, Notorious Nick Newell! More free live events than any other network and Inside MMA live every Monday night. HDNet, your home for MMA. If you got it, watch it. If you don't, call your TV provider to get HDNet today.